The JLPT N2 is tomorrow. And I'm not sure I'm ready. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Call me Jobson. So, yes, the JLPT N2, I'm taking that tomorrow. I am in my hotel room. I'm in San Francisco. And yeah, I'm taking the JLPT N2. So, my original plan was to, in July, in June and July, was to make a video series about me studying for the JLPT and how it was gonna go and what ended up happening was I lost my job. So because of that, I had to find a new one. Lo and behold, I did. However, I still haven't been studying as frequently as I'd like. I started to pick back studying up again once I felt like I got a hang on things at work and my life got kind of situated and I got used to the new norm. Everything is fine now on that front, however, I still paid for the test. And so although I really didn't get through nowhere near as much material as I thought I would, I'm still gonna take it. One, because I bought the plane ticket as well. So I bought the plane ticket way back in May. I also bought the test in October. And so because of that, I just felt like, well, I wasn't going to let this stop me. I feel like this is a good, this would be a good barrier of where my Japanese is, what I need to improve on, and you know, moving forward, what I can learn. And so I didn't want to let you know life get in the way because life was life and life be life and that happens to all of us. And I think the best thing I can do is to show people that life be life in and to show that hey, I'm still gonna go out there, I'm still gonna do my best. And yeah. It's a lot colder in San Francisco than I was expecting. It's warmer than Cleveland, but it's it was still chillier than I was expecting, but I heard in Northern California, that's where people get the seasons. That's the area where they get all the seasons. I'll cut to me talking about the JLPT and me getting ready for the test, signing up for it, and I'll do a little snippet of me talking about how I felt after the test and what's gonna happen moving forward with my Japanese. All right. All right, it is Mon Sunday, <laughs> the day of the JLPT. So today is the day I'm gonna be taking the test. So like I said before, I'm not sure how well I'm gonna do. We will see how well I do. I'm headed to Target now because I need some snacks. I need some snacks. I haven't eaten breakfast. I need some snacks for the test. It's gonna be at least two to three breaks. I'm gonna try to get us some snacks and maybe an energy drink just in case. And yeah, that is the agenda for today. And like I said, I'll be reviewing and talking about how the test went and we'll go from there. Got the snacks and then I remembered I'm taking a test, which means I need pencils and preferably a good eraser and I don't have any of that. So I had to make a pit stop back at the hotel to drop my stuff off and then see if I can run to 7-Eleven and then if that doesn't have it, then I'll have to run back to Target. So let's go get some pencils. So as I said, I'm going to get pencils. I'm tired because I'm walking up a uphill slope, but I was gonna go to 7-Eleven. But I found a Walgreens instead. So, there's Walgreens over there. We got them. We got them. All right, we got the pencils. Headed, I'm gonna take an Uber to the university because I'm, I'm exhausted. My, I had nerve damage, or I had nerve surgery early this year and I'm tired, so. I'm gonna take the Uber to the location, probably chill, play my analog pocket, maybe do some review of some flashcards and get ready for this test. All right, I just finished the JLPT N2 in 2023. Do I believe I passed? I'm not sure. I. I believe it was a good test. I, I, it was about 71 questions on the first part. I feel like about the first 40, was zooming through them pretty quickly. Some of the ones maybe I didn't know too much, but I felt like I was confident in those. Then it started getting to the reading passages where that's where I was needed more time. 
And so although, you know, I, I was struggling, I skipped to the back and I started answering the questions that I felt like that were a little bit easier. That helped me, that made more sense. And so that's what I did on that front. And then the last, I'd say five minutes, I had to guess on a few or skim a few passages as fast as I could and I'd keep going. So I believe that that part was harder. That part was easier than I, I was anticipating, which was fantastic. So I believe that it, it kind of shows me like the study methods and things that I've been using to study Japanese have been working. It has been helping me. So let me know in the comment section below if you want to talk about, if you want me to talk about, you know, my process of learning. But I do feel like that made sense. Uh, I, feel, I feel like I did pretty well. And then as far as the listening, that was way tougher than I was expecting in all honesty. You know, I think, you know, I feel like it was just harder than I was thinking. I'm standing up because I'm about to go catch my Uber. Uh, <laughs> it was harder than I was expecting. And I had to guess on some of them. Um, I haven't been listening, I guess, to Japanese as much as I thought I did. And so that, again, that was a little rough, but I'm doing my best and that's it, that's all I have, and I will check in later. And we're back. So, it's been about two weeks since I've taken the JLPT N2 2023. And my thoughts pretty much are the same. For the first 40 questions, I really felt like they made sense to me. Once I got to the reading section, I felt like it took more time than I was expecting to read. There was more text than I feel like I need, had time to parse. So again, I moved to the back from there, worked my way up. That was a little bit easier. And for the listening, that was really harder than I was expecting in all honesty. I haven't been listening to Japanese as much as I assumed that I thought I was doing. And even speaking to some of the other individuals, they felt the same as far as the listening. So what am I doing next? Moving on, well, pretty much I'm going to continue to study vocab. So I've been using these JLPT specific vocab Anki decks. So I'm using those. I'm going to continue with that. I picked that back up. I had to finish about 300 so reviews. Took a while, but now that I'm caught up, I'm starting to slowly add new and learn new vocab. In the meantime, I've also been continuing to watch different media in Japanese and i've also removed the japanese subtitles so for a while i've been using japanese subtitles and they've been really helpful and i do believe they help my reading ability but then sometimes i feel like i'll look at the subtitle and my brain will have read it already so then sometimes i feel like my ears stop listening and so I noticed that and so now i've decided to remove the japanese subtitles and also add different podcasts so that's been really helpful i found a japanese podcast um i'll put it in the description below uh, a few of the ones that i've been listening to and yeah that's been really helpful these last two weeks i feel like my japanese is slowly but surely coming back and yeah i'm just kind of gonna continue back on that path i'll probably relearn some grammar or read some grammar and get a better idea of it and just continue on and as far as my results, I'll let you know when those come and what happens and moving on. I'll probably continue to, I probably want to take the N1 eventually just because I feel like it'll be nice to have under my tool belt. And then, yeah, I'll update you as time goes on about my Japanese. And let me know about you guys. Let me know if, how your Japanese studies are going. Let me know in the comment section below. I've been really sick these past few days, really these last two weeks. And so... I've been trying to get back on board with uploading more content and we'll just go from there. So I appreciate you for watching. Call me Jobson. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.